a box within a box. That's right, another totes product. As you can see, very fond of totes. I've got another 450 as well as this. This is a 550 and a 750 totes. But what we got here is not a cook pot. As you can tell from the title, again, we have the small wood burning stove. Goes together like that. This is the 750 milliliter pot. And we got the 550 milliliter pot. And I'm not sure if the 450 will fit. Ah, right, well, 450 will fit as well. Um, what I liked about this though is it works perfectly with the 750 pot. It'll nest right in it. Uh, if you're using an alcohol stove and you're used to using some of these can stoves um, or coffee mugs, it possibly will work. I would uh, advise you against it since these are. Uh, will melt pretty quickly. You'd have to make sure that you uh, don't have a burning flame, but it is possible. I would just basically turn it, put uh, a couple stakes in here, and this would sit on the stakes. So it is possible if you're carrying one of these uh, canned coffee pots or stove, I would just advise doing it on an open flame. I'd have those coals real hot and boil the water off the coals. Uh, but that's not what I got this for. So you probably won't see me doing that at all. Uh, could test it out, wouldn't hurt. Um, but what I love about this is it is an alternative. Uh, it weighs 5.4 ounces, so fairly lightweight, you know, um, considering if you were going to bring a fuel canister and, um, you know, a BSR uh, or a pocket rocket or something like that. Um, in addition, uh, to my 550, I had the uh, Spagava stove in there. And uh, so the Spagava stove could nest right along in here. That would nest in there. You know, you'd throw your ladders in there, your strikers in there, and it would work just fine. However, the issue with putting this directly in there is you've got to build up a soot. So you would either need to put your bandana in there first to keep that soot from getting in your pot. But they do give you the stuff sack to protect you from getting the soot. What I would do though, is I would put the bag on upside down. I would push the bag inwards. That way you could put your stove, the alcohol stove, which is another lightweight option. Your striker. Your lighter. And then you take your bandana, put it on the inside of your mug, keep your mug from getting dirty. I've got this tag here. Let me take that off real quick. And that will keep everything from getting dirty. The lid will go on it. That's my 550 lid on there. So let's swap lids here. And everything nests in there perfectly. It will also nest as well Take your bandana to pull the stove out. It's 
So we will nest inside of the 550 as well. The lid will not fit on top of it. So what I would do is I'd put the lid in my bag first. Okay, then I, which I do this anyway, put all of my bags on my um, cook pots upside down. That way when I pull my pot out, everything that's in the pot stays within the bag is contained. So I always know where my lighter or my striker is. Not fiddling around with it. Now, one thing I will suggest is, um, just a tip, is if you are out below 25 degrees, you may want to take your lighter out of your cook kit. Because I've had this thing in my bag uh, with the uh, bandana, stuff sack, everything. And I've taken that out. And basically, my lighter would not work until um, I had to shake it a couple times to get it to work. So uh, what I've started doing is keeping it went below 25 degrees, keeping my lighter on my person. Like I said, it will work. You just have to shake it and everything. That's why it's always good to have two sources of uh, getting a fire, either a striker and a lighter or two lighters. So... Let's get a weight on this thing here. Um, I need to, I've, I've got a tag off, but it's still got this plastic thing off. Obviously we will not be carrying this plastic thing. So let me rip that off real quick. We're gonna do weight without stuff sack. 5.25, they claim it weighs 5.4 ounces. with stuff sack and we are looking at 5.55 ounces so not quite the 5.4 we'll zero that out again 5.55 ounces so you've got 5.5 ounces of course there are always always lighter weight options other than a stuff sack if you've got one of those fantastic a Cuban fiber or something we've got 3.4 for the 750 pot let's do a nesting let's nest it all together with the bag okay with the lid just it by itself not including lighter striker we're looking at 9.4 ounces for a wood burning stove and the pot. Now, I'm going to take this striker out because that striker weighs a little bit more. It's uh, my son's striker. It's a very awesome striker. Uh, I would recommend it. Uh, it shoots a lot of sparks on my wife's table. Um, but it, it, it's very easy. It's got thumbprints. It strikes really good. It's easy to use. Uh, it's for my son though. <clears throat> and it's a little bit heavier. So that's typically the striker I would use, just a cheap surplus military striker. A little bit lighter weight, um, but it's easier to use. So we're going to basically uh, put the Spagava stove in here. Folks, keep in mind, you're either going to be going alcohol, canister, or wood burning. Now, good thing with this option is you've got your Spagaver stove or any alcohol stove. It would go in here. Okay. We would, we can put your lighter in there if you want. Um, a little bit of tin foil. That's not really going to amount to any weight. We're going to put this in our cook kit. And now I'm going to have two stoves, basically. Let's get a weight for two stoves. No alcohol, obviously. That's going to be separate weight. We are 10 ounces for two stoves. Uh, so your alcohol stove and a wood-burning stove. You run out of alcohol, you're able to break up some sticks. Or if you're going sticks conserving your alcohol and then you get a down pour rain and you don't want to fill it with the sticks you've got an ounce of alcohol or eight ounce alcohol however much you bring and you're able to use your alcohol but conserve and save money by using and having a fire when you solo you don't want to bring 
uh, a bunch of gear to make a big fire. You're going ultra light or trying to go somewhat lightweight, and but you still want a fire. This is a perfect little stove for that to cook on and have a fire right outside of your tent or hammock. Let's include an ounce of fuel within this. And there again, you have lighter weight options for the uh, stuff stack. I mean, that's almost half an ounce just for this stuff stack. But with that, we're 10.5 with the little ounce of uh, alcohol, uh, not including the weight of the alcohol, but just the container. So uh, two ounce, excuse me. You would have two ounces of alcohol uh, just in case you get rained on, you're able to have that alcohol nest inside of your cook kit uh, for when you cannot burn the wood. So I've really enjoyed this unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. I've been really looking forward to getting this product. I'm looking forward to getting it out on the trail, getting some real use out of it, and being able to do a good review on this product. Like I said, I'll link some reviews for some other YouTubers that have this product. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting it out there and getting out on the trail as you some backyard use as well, you know, but mainly to get this out on the trail, be able to conserve some of the uh, fuel that I use and uh, have a fire when I'm solo, but not have that big flaming fire, just a little small fire. You, you're able to get a little small fire and get some cooking in all of it. And hey, until next time, enjoy your hikes, you hiking freaks.